Now for any particular point, let's say again, I'm going to what is the gradient of this curve at this particular point? If I were to mark that point here, this point one and one. Is point the gradient change of this curve? Because we cannot have the gradient at every single point because constantly change on it. I'm a point to y point. How how do you find gradient at this point? In all of us, we would say. हम इस पॉइंट के ऊपर इसका टेंजेंट ड्रॉ कर लेते हैं उस टेंजेंट का ग्रेडिएंट फाइंड कर लेते हैं दैट वुड बी एन एस्टीमेट फॉर द ग्रेडिएंट ऑफ दिस कर्व एट दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट राइट दैट वुड बी यूज्ड टू बट दैट मेथड ऑफ कोर्स वाज नॉट वेरी एक्यूरेट इट वाज द करेक्ट वे टू डू इट दैट लेकिन इट वाज नॉट वेरी एक्यूरेट बिकॉज़ आप टेंजेंट ड्रॉ करते हो इट्स इट्स मैनुअल प्रोसेस यू टेंड टू हैव इनएक्यूरेसीज इन दैट आप मार्केट से भी देखते थे Had a range of acceptable answers for that because when manually you process it, there is a chance of error there, right? Now, what you want to do now is you want to think about the gradient of any type of curve, or pretty much any kind of type of curve, using uh, a method that only uses some calculations and it not is, and is not dependent. On our drawing skills, right? So calculation के तो कोई numerical process के तो आप किस तरह से curve पे किसी भी particular point पे gradient find कर सकते हैं, ठीक है? That's the idea. All right? Does that make sense? So तब हम क्या करते थे? In O levels, we would say, let's draw a tangent at this point. 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 Let's draw a tangent at this So we would make a tangent that looks, let's say, something like this. Is the two point find there today, or is it? Uh, we can really find there. Now, let's understand the idea of differentiation. Okay. Differentiation. The idea is that if you take two points on the curve itself, so rather than drawing a tangent there, what do you do? Know? You take two points on the curve. एक पॉइंट तो यही होएगा दिस पॉइंट पे आपको ग्रेडिएंट फाइंड करना है दैट्स 1 एंड 1 राइट सो दिस पॉइंट हियर यू वांट टू ग्रेडिएंट दिस पॉइंट सो दैट्स दैट्स आवर दैट्स आवर गोल हियर वी वांट टू फाइंड द ग्रेडिएंट एट द पॉइंट 1 1 और ग्रेडिएंट व्हेन x इज इक्वल टू 1 दैट इज द पॉइंट दैट इज द पॉइंट वेयर वी वांट टू फाइंड द ग्रेडिएंट नाउ व्हाट वी वुड डू इज we would say let's take two points on the curve itself right so let's take one point here that's going to be the same point this time we didn't find there and let's take one other point on the curve so let's say we yahan pe ye wala point hai so let's call this point that its coordinates so here they are 3 and 9 let's take this point here and let's say hum iska iska gradient find karte hain the line That is joining these two points. This point of the name, let's call this. Uh, so this is our main point. Let's call this B, right? Or let's call this A. This is where we want to find the gradient. And let's call this point something else. Let's say this is our point uh, W, right? We've got these two points. What would be the gradient of A W? Let's think about this. Gradient of A W. क्या होएगा? This implies the gradient formula. It's going to be nine minus one over three minus one. What do you get from that? Four. Is that a good estimate for the gradient of the curve at this point? What do you think? Not very good, right? Because यहाँ पे line draw करते हैं अगर एक let's draw the line in this color. यहाँ पे line draw करते हैं. This is the line for which we are find finding the gradient for. And look at our tangent. Tangent तो बहुत नीचे था उसमें, right? So the tangent is not close to that. So most of you are saying it's not a very good estimate of the gradient. Let's try something else. <laughs> What I'll do is, 
I'll take another point on the curve itself. So let's take this point. This point ke coordinates kya hai? These are two and four. Let's call this point something else. Let's call this point X, let's say. And let's find the gradient of AX now. Gradient of AX. What does that turn out to be? Four minus one over two minus one. What is that? That's three, right? Is this a good estimate for the gradient? What do you think? It's better. It's, it's not very good, but it's better than but better than a four. At least we can say that much. Does that make sense? Because we're closer to the direction of the tangent now, so it's a better estimate than before it is. And so now it's, it, might not, it might not be very visible to you here. Uh, let me increase the size of it. Let's take another point here. Let's get the man may make our point in it. So this is 1.5. 1.5 what do you think the value of the y coordinate is going to be? 1.5 square, that is 2.25. Let's take another point here. So this coordinates kya honge? This is 1.5 and 2.25. And let's call this point point y. All right. So we take another point that's even closer to the original point. The original point was one and one. Now we're getting even closer to that. And that's a point 1.5 and 2.25. Let's find the gradient of this point now, of, of the line joining these two points now. So gradient of a y. What is that? 4, no, 2.25 minus 1 divided by 1.5 minus 1. What is that? 2.5? Is it 2.5? Yeah, so that's what you get. So again, we're getting closer and closer to the actual gradient of, the, of that point. So we, we started from 4, now we have, now we, then we got to 3, and now we have 2.5. So as we get closer and closer to the original point, our estimate for the gradient of that particular point is going to get better and better. Okay? And the idea of differentiation is that point that your distance is sort of negligible. So like you've got one and one, a point one and one, and which a point could be you know one point zero 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 one, or you should also corresponding y coordinate. And that will give you an exact estimate for the gradient of that point. Okay. So let's take one more point and let's say I'm not I cannot I show that to you on the graph itself, but there's it's very close to the original point. Let's take a core point. Let's take a core point theta. Mein. Let's call it Z or its coordinates, let's say, are 1.1 1. Uh, 1 and the corresponding y coordinate. What is that going to be? 2.21? 1.21. 1. 1. So the gradient of AZ, therefore, is going to be 1.21 minus 1 divided by 1.1 minus 1. Okay, so we've taken one more point that is even closer to the original point, and we see what the gradient of the line joining those two points is. So this is AZ. This turns out to be 2.1. So do you see a pattern here? 4, 3, 2.5, 2.1. You can check another point if you want, but you can already guess the original point ka gradient almost kitna Any idea? It should be 2, right? 
So it's it's a guess. It's, it's not still we cannot be hundred percent sure about that. But from the pattern, you can see it's going to be close to two. If you take other points, say, like you know, take another point. Uh, let's call that M. Let's say one point zero zero one, right? And that's going to give you a pretty uh, good estimate. Very close over the estimate period. Okay, so that's the idea. You take it from chord scale. Like this, right? We circle in a chord, right? So you you draw a circle here like this. Let's say a point, uh, a line joining two points on the circumference. Is called what? A chord, right? This was a chord, right? Now this line that we are drawing here, it also has the same name. It's also a chord. It's the line joining two points on a curve. So we are drawing a series of chords here and using them to estimate the gradient now. And we don't have to draw anything here. We don't have to do any uh, any estimate of. Uh, don't have to draw the tangent and estimate the gradient like that. We just do some calculations. But I'm just going to estimate this like this. Okay, and that's going to be pretty accurate. But here is a rough idea. Okay. Differentiation is basically built on this. We have little limits and concept out there, and you can actually precisely uh, figure out the exact gradient here. Okay? So this is from May June twenty twenty paper, I think, uh, if I'm correct, uh, or maybe from the specimen paper. I don't remember exactly. Yes. Zoom in. Okay. Is this better? All right. So you see, you've given you are, you are basically given five points here, okay. And in the first part, it just asks you to find the gradients of the lines joining different set of points. So first of all, A E, B E. ये दोनों को उसने gradients दिया है. Then you are asked to find the gradients of C E and D E. So you see, what is the point that is common between all those lines? That's the point E. So basically, we are trying to figure out an estimate for the gradient at the point E. Remember, because I am saying, here also, what was it? Na, we drew there a set of lines, a set of chords using this point. A and another point. So A is somewhere common. Tha. So A के ऊपर हम estimate कर रहे थे and we uh, do all these different lines A W A X A Y and A Z with A point in common in all of them. Does that make sense? So in this case as well, we have this point E common in all of them. ठीक है? So E E को use करके आपके पास four different chords जो हैं उसमें draw किए। So first we need to find the gradients of all these different lines। दो के उसमें दिया मैं already। Let's find the gradient of C E। What is that? Gradient of C E? Two point two five? Okay, two point five. Okay, so this looks like exactly similar to what you've done uh, अभी। So Let's show the working here as well. So although it's not necessary, but just for your reference, this is nine point seven point nine minus seven point seven five divided by two minus one point five. Okay. Similarly for DE, that is nine minus eight point seven nine divided by two minus one point nine. Is it clear? Then DE. That's two point one. So actually, uh, this is just by accident. You're getting the same numbers here, although uh, it's not the same curve. It's a different curve. You see what is happening? You've got one point A E. If I were to show this to you graphically, even though you don't have to do that here, but how would this curve look like? Again, I'm just going to draw it again very quickly. This curve is going to look something like this. Zero one. So that's one point here. Zero one, one and six. So that's let's say somewhere here. 
Then you've got 1.15 and 7.75. That's going to be, let's say, somewhere here. This is what the curve looks like almost. Okay, five points This is point A, then B, C, D, and E. What you're looking for is the gradient at this particular point, that is the point E. This way of gradient plane. Okay? Let's tell you what it does is it makes you find the gradient for all of these different points. You find the gradient of AE, then BE, then CE, and DE. So as you are getting closer to the point E, you can estimate better or the And then just by looking at these values, you can estimate the exact value here. So in the second part, there's a notation here that you do not know about right now. But what it, what it means is, for now, you can understand it like this. Gradient of the curve when x is equal to 2. This is what the second part is asking for now. Gradient of the curve when x is equal to 2. So when is x equal to 2 here? That's this point E. E ke upar also a gradient. So it is E to gradient here. Okay? And you can estimate that using the pattern here. Ki pe, 2 ke Is that okay to everyone? Any questions on this? Is it too simple? Or too simple? So how many of you understand this? Can I have raise my hands? Okay, that's good. Any questions on this? So that's simply two. So because you see, it's getting getting closer and closer to two. A pattern they go four, three, two point five, two point one. So there's one value that it seems to be approaching. It's getting closer to two here. So this is I was pointing to the jayo. It's it's approaching two there. So we just say this is going to be two. Okay, we will understand this notation. Uh, the f dash of two is basically coming from the presentation. Uh, we haven't done that yet uh, formally, but uh, it just means gradient of the curve that way. Okay, this is the idea that you need to know about. And here, basically, the building block is the presentation. Okay, 